Hey everyone, Adam Repos Vox here, and I'm here making a tutorial kind of in response to a comment here from Susie Hager uh, on my Amazon Cloud video. They said, I only have 70 gigs. I'm trying to download that so I can not continue with it. Uh, Amazon Cloud Drive, it's shutting down. I posted a whole video. You can go check that out. Uh, but they're saying that it's really hard to download from Amazon Cloud Drive, and I don't find that to be the case. In fact, they make it fairly easy. So I'm going to make a tutorial here and show you how. First and foremost, you do need the Amazon Drive desktop client, which you can get from the Amazon Cloud Drive website if you have an account. Open that up, and instead of uploading, we're actually going to use it to download, and it has a built-in downloader that works pretty well. All right, it takes a minute for the app to launch, and then... It's not actually going to pop anything up if you've already used it. It's going to pop up the little cloud icon in the top right hand corner here. Click it or right click it rather and go to this upload without syncing icon. Now go to the downloads tab right here. I, I didn't notice it for a long time myself. Uh, I already have something here. All right. So, so you click the download tab and then you can select which folders to download to just purely dump your Amazon cloud drive to local hard drives, which is what I'm going to do once I get another storage solution in place. But I'm going to select folders, and then you have to do it kind of one big folder at a time. You can go on a micro level and just get specific files. Actually, no, you can just click the all and tell it where to download. I don't have 40 terabytes to dump all this to, so I'm not going to do that right now. But I can choose like the, uh, what's a good one I can use? I can dump my comics folder. I can click that, hit download to at the bottom and then you tell it where you want to download and so I can just say download it to my desktop select folder and it's going to start the download and it works and looks almost exactly like the upload process you get a status for each individual item and you get a pause so you can pause you can cancel the whole thing you can download more folders you can queue up as much as you want you can clear out the history and so on so then if I pause it you can see here it added a folder to my desktop called Amazon Drive downloads if I open that up, inside is the comics folder, and it has begun downloading my comic files from the Amazon Cloud Drive. So I hope this makes it a little bit easier. This is a way you can rip your file, or not really rip, but dump your files off of there uh, so that you have an easier time getting rid of them, or, you know, getting them off there since they're upping their price model and all that. And hopefully this answers your question. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, and I will see you in the next one. EposVox is a Patreon-supported production. Our videos would simply not be possible without the support and generosity of our patrons, whom you can see on screen right now. If you'd like to join the inner circle and get early access to videos, among other things, go to patreon.com slash to learn more.